alligators, it's Sally Hardesty, and today I am finally, finally going to be talking about what happened in LA. There were a lot of things that happened in LA. I took a lot of L's in LA, a lot of losses, including this story time because of my own stupidity and also because this lady is a freaking scam artist. So this is a collab with Colin Barry, a virtual collab. He will be telling his point of view of what happened because he was there for some parts that I wasn't. And this is just going to be a really entertaining story. So let's get into it. As most of you guys know, I was in LA with a bunch of YouTubers about a month ago. I was out there during my birthday weekend, like beginning of November. Natalia Taylor, Colin Barry, Aaron Fuller, Sierra Watts, Anna Campbell, and I think that's it. While we were out there, we had a lot of struggles, I guess you could say. In a previous story time with Colin that I did, like an in-person collab, we talked about how our hotel was haunted and how we got kicked out of our Airbnb and we had to go to like multiple different locations to sleep and have shelter. So yeah, that was a whole problem in itself. And this was probably like the third day or so of the trip. We had finally left our haunted Airbnb. We were heading over to a new hotel and that's a whole situation in itself because we booked it online and then when we got there they said that we did not have a reservation and I do not know if we got a refund for that. But anyways, as we were there waiting for the situation to be worked out, which it wasn't, we were in the lobby and we're all really tired. We all have our luggage with us. We're just really, really excited to finally get a room, which we didn't. We had to go to a different hotel, which is kind of where this takes place as well. We're just sitting there minding our own business when all of a sudden this lady walks up to us and hands us her business card, which was basically like a flyer. It was like this big or so. I actually still have it, but I can't show you guys because it has her number and her name and everything. I don't want you guys to go harass her because trust me, you're going to want to because this story is so infuriating. She tells us that she's a psychic and she looks me directly in the eye. Like she's talking to me and she specifically starts talking about things that are going on in my life. And looking back, they were very general and a lot of them were actually wrong, but I was like shook, right? Because I have wanted a psychic reading for so long. I've seen people do them. Like my friends have had them done and I'm just like, dude, I want one just for fun, you know? But at the same time, I always felt like I didn't want to know too much because it would scare me. And that's kind of what happened, but not in the way that you might be thinking. So she's telling me that I've been having really bad dreams lately and all this stuff, which was actually true at the time. I was having nightmares like every night and I didn't know why. So she was spot on about that, but everything else didn't really make sense. But she got me with that. She was telling me that that was happening to me, which she probably just guessed. So I was like, okay, I want a reading. I want a reading. She told me they were $200 in her office, but because we were in this hotel lobby, she would give us all a deal which it obviously wasn't a deal. It was probably the real price, but she just wants us to think that like marketing strategy. And I was all for it. Everybody else was really hesitant because they were like, no, I don't even know if she's real. Like this is sketchy. But I was like, I want to do it. I want to do it. And this lady, she had a blonde wig. Okay. I didn't notice that because I'm not an observant person, but everybody else did. And there's nothing wrong with that, but that's a red flag when you include everything else in the story because she was trying to hide what she actually looked like. Like she probably went around dressed as different people. So so no one could actually catch her and like put her in jail or whatever because I'm sure this stuff is illegal. I was asking everybody like, hey, would it be cool if she read me really quick before, you know, since we're still making reservations and they were like, yeah, that's fine. But then they were like, wait, actually, how about we just do it at the new hotel when we get there? And the psychic was like, no, 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 because obviously she didn't want to miss out on the opportunity of like making money off of me in case like we got there and we decided not to do it. They talked me out of it because she could obviously tell that Colin and like some other people in the group were skeptical and they were not going to have a reading from her, but I was because I I'm the gullible one of the group. I was like the test dummy here. And then the psychic lady was like offering to drive me in her car. Like, oh no, leave Allie and I'll just read her and then I'll drive her over in my car to the new hotel you guys are staying at. Like who offers to do that? We're in LA. I just met you. You want to take me in your car? She was probably going to rob me. And Natalia was like, no, you're not taking Allie to the new hotel. Like I will take Allie to the new hotel. She's our friend. Like we're all, we're all going together. So if she wants to be read. We will wait here for her to be read. So the psychic and I go over to a different part of the lobby. We're sitting down and I can still see everybody, but they're like, kind of far away. So she starts off by telling me to think of two things in my head, like two wishes that I really, really want in life and to tell her one and the other one keep to myself. So one I kept to myself and then one I said out loud. And looking back now in retrospect, the stuff I told her, she basically went off of that and made inferences and she guessed and a lot of it was not even right but just parts of it were like somewhat accurate or like could have been accurate and keep in mind this is my future like what's to come so a lot of this I'm gonna have no idea about right then this is when things start to get weird the psychic leans in just like this and she goes okay Allie do you want me to be honest with you and I'm like yeah of course I do 
what do you mean? Is there something bad in my future? I start to get really nervous and she's like, don't panic, don't freak out, but there is dark energy surrounding you and you're going to hell. You're going to hell. She told me I was going to hell. Just like that. Just like that. I start crying. She told me not to freak out, but how do you not freak out when someone just openly tells you that like out of nowhere? I was raised Christian. I believe in God. I don't want to go to hell. So of course I was freaking out. Like obviously I was freaking out. I'm like, what do I do? I'm hysterically crying in public, mind you. People are looking over at me like, what is wrong with this girl? Bawling my eyes out, right? Like super loud. And I hate crying in front of people. So this was so embarrassing. And she's like, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Calm down. I have a solution for you. For just $200, I can do a special ritual and you won't go to hell anymore. And I was like, what do you mean you can do a special ritual so I don't go to hell anymore? Like, for sure, but why do I have to pay $200 for? Like, I'm already paying like 70 bucks for the reading or whatever it was. And she's like, because it's a special ritual, like, I can only do it for you. And so I was like, no, it's fine. Like, I'll be fine. Like, I'll get rid of this dark energy on my own or whatever. And I didn't even know what to think at the time. Like, who just tells somebody that, right? I hadn't processed. And so she was basically using manipulative scare tactics on me, which were working. Like, you can't pay $200 to save your soul from the devil. So I did, but I only paid $100 because I told her I did not make money with YouTube because she was asking me how much I made, which was so irrelevant. Like, she's supposed to be telling me how much I make and what my future's like, not asking me. Like, if you're really a psychic, you would probably already know that, wouldn't you? She's asking me who has the most followers out of everybody on the trip like all the youtubers and i'm like oh natalia she just blew up she just she just hit half a million at the time she did and she's like oh interesting like which one's natalia so i point her out and she's like oh, okay so when we end up closing out the reading she's like telling me how this ritual works she hands me a bag of rose petals like a tiny little bag and they smell like someone just sprayed a bunch of perfume on them and i'm like what is this? I thought she was gonna do a ritual like there. Like I didn't even know what that meant. I just knew I wanted to save my soul from the devil, right? So she hands me the rose petals and she's like, you need to bathe in these for three consecutive days. You should pour a third of the bag in the bath water for three consecutive days and bathe in it for 20 minutes. She's telling me, don't put your hair in the water. It'll ruin your hair if it touches your hair, all this stuff. So I was like, oh man, this stuff must be legit. Like, okay, whatever. And then she's basically hinting not to tell my friends that I'm doing this because they're gonna like judge me and all this stuff. And I'm like, okay like if if it'll work better i won't tell them i guess whatever she wanted to take my card and like use it in some app on her phone but i was like no how about i paypal you because i was not trying to have her steal my identity like i did not trust that at all and she probably would have freaking done that just like she would have robbed me if i went in her car there are so many things i avoided in this situation so it came out a lot better than it could have even though i was still scammed i go back over to my friends and we're getting in the rental car to drive over to the new hotel and the psychic lady was following us in her car because she was going to read aaron next because he wanted a reading and we were going to do it at the new hotel since we got a reservation we're in the car and they're like ali is she legit and i was like she's so legit dude like oh my god like she's really helping me out like i bought these rose petals she's gonna help me with some stuff and they're like you bought rose petals what what are you talking about and i'm just like i don't want to talk about the details like i don't know dude like she's legit like she really has like magic like i was so dumb as i'm telling them all this we're at the new hotel so aaron's in the lobby with the psychic and it's his turn now to get his reading done we're all in the room and they're just like okay i guess we'll see when aaron gets back what his experience is like you know so i go down the hallway and i'm on the phone with my friend i'm crying to him i'm telling him i'm so scared i really hope this stuff works like i don't want to go to hell i'm basically relaying everything that happened and i'm like really really scared my friends kept coming outside in the hallway to like see if i'm okay and i'm like i'm good i'm good i'm just like crying all over again it really scared me and it makes me mad now because who just tells somebody that in order to get money out of them then the psychic calls me while i'm on the phone with him and i answer and she's like hey like what room number are you guys in and i'm like why aren't you with aaron and so i guess <laughs> she had my number by the way because she told me to call her the next day and let her know if it worked like if i was feeling better if i was still having nightmares if like the ritual worked which it freaking didn't because it wasn't real she comes upstairs with aaron she ended up i guess following him back to his room like without his consent. She follows him back to our hotel room, follows him into our hotel room. And then when he leaves, she stays in the hotel room. And she cornered Colin and she was like telling him like, oh, let me, let me read your future and all this stuff. That'll be in his video. Anyways, finally I get off the phone. I walk back in the hotel room. Everyone's in there waiting for me. And Aaron's like, Allie, wait, what did she tell you to do with that bag of rose petals? And I was like, bathe in it. And he was like, Pulled out a bag of something that he bought from her, which was a little bit different. I think it was like garlic or something. And he's like, she told me to sleep with this under my pillow. 
and everyone's dying laughing because not only did I get scammed at this point but Erin got scammed and now we knew we were both scammed because she was just like messing with us like she was probably laughing so hard like walking away with all the money that we gave to her and Aaron going into the reading he was like I'm not gonna fall for this there's no way she's not gonna scam me I'm just gonna pay for the reading and just like move on with my life he ended up buying stuff too which is so funny and he paid more for his than I did he paid like $150 for this little bag of garlic or whatever and then he lost it he lost the bag I opened in the bag at this point because we're like wanting to look at the stuff and it's not even rose petals it's bath salt it's bath salt and dirt it's disgusting i don't i don't know what it was it could have been a little bag of drugs <laughs> i don't know so i'm looking at my bag of dirt and bath salt he's looking at his little garlic thing he's telling me that she told him he was gonna die alone and like all this stuff if he didn't get that and sleep with it under his pillow because it was for like his love life right even though Aaron's like 16 how are you gonna tell a 16 year old kid that he's gonna die alone like what is wrong with you and then Natalia's reading which was after Aaron's she didn't fall for it she basically only had a reading done so she could prove all of us wrong which she did she went into it basically looking really really bored with everything the psychic said the psychic's like you're going to be a famous model Natalia's just like and then she's like, you're gonna be a famous singer. Like trying to impress Natalia and get something to like light her face up. You know what I mean? Like you're going to be a famous motocross rider. And then Natalia would be like, oh. just basically faking her reactions to get the psychic to say things that were not true at all. And so the psychic was wrong about everything. And then the psychic tried to tell Natalia that we were all using her for her followers. And like, we were so jealous of her, like all this stuff, basically based off of when I told the psychic that she had way more followers than all of us. And I wasn't saying it in like a weird way. She asked me who had the most followers and I told her, you know what I mean? So she was using that to her advantage, like knowing that fact about Natalia, which Natalia already knew I told her that. So Aaron and I did actually end up bathing in the rose petals. I mean, I paid a hundred dollars for them. We might as well like try it out for the heck of it, right? YOLO so we did we were in our swimsuits in the hotel bath and we just like poured it in there and it was literally dirty water it was just like a little bit of sand and like bath salt it was stupid and she was telling me how I couldn't get my hair in it like you can get your hair in dirty water it, it's fine she was acting like it was some really expensive flower like dust that was gonna like get rid of demons I don't know it was ridiculous but that was my snapchat story if you guys were wondering what the heck that was a few weeks ago what happens in LA does not say in LA it gets published to my YouTube channel so if you guys like this video be sure to give it a thumbs up also comment below I want to know if you guys think that you would have fallen for it too or if you think that you would have not believed it and not been scammed out of hundreds of dollars let me know but be honest with yourself because if you were in my position you might have done the same thing you really don't know also make sure that you subscribe to this channel because I put out new videos all the time and head over to Colin's channel I'm gonna put an annotation on here somewhere because he did his point of view on what happened because he was there when she broke into the hotel room and she tried to like force him into a reading and he witnessed all this from the outside being like the smart human being who didn't pay hundreds of dollars to have sand given to them so yeah check out his video he's hilarious and i love colin half to death oh my gosh thank you guys again for watching and i will see you next time later alligators bye